Let's look at a sample of gases in the same flask at the same temperature. Every gas experiences the same temperature. Every gas will have a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. Let's talk conceptually about that Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution and how we can determine what's going on with each gas. We'll look at five statements and try to determine which is exactly true. Statement A, the hydrogen will have an average speed lower than the helium because hydrogen is made up of two atoms. B, any helium atom will be faster than any neon atom. C, the kinetic energy of any helium atom will be the same as that of any neon atom. D, there will be more hydrogen molecules with a speed equal to the root mean square speed at lower temperatures. And E, hydrogen and helium will have the same standard deviation around their root mean squared velocity as long as they're at the same temperature. So, let's look at each of these. A, the hydrogen will have an average speed lower than the helium because hydrogen is made up of two atoms. Now we know for our discussion, it's the mass of the particle, not the structure of the particle, that determines speeds. So A, there's an incorrect statement there. B, any helium atom will be faster than any neon atom. Now, helium is the lighter atom, neon is more massive, so the root mean square speeds of helium and neon will be different. But the root mean squared are a mean speed. You can find particles, if you pick out any two, that have very rapidly moving heliums, very slow moving neons, or vice versa. Very slow moving neons and very rapidly moving helium. So if you pick out particles individually, you can't apply the RMS speed. The RMS is a mean speed, and it, just, it applies to the entire sample. C. The kinetic energy of any helium atom will be the same of any neon atom. Now, again, if there's the same number of particles, they'll have the same molar kinetic energy, but individual particles will have different speeds, and you can't say any particle I pick out of helium will have exactly the same kinetic energy as any neon. Their velocities come in a distribution. Now, D. There will be more hydrogen molecules with a speed equal to the root mean square speed at lower temperatures. That one's very compelling, so let's come back to it. I want to talk about E because I think I saw an error there. Hydrogen and neon will have the same standard deviation around their root mean squared velocity as long as they're at the same temperature. Well, again, they're the same temperature but different masses. So the standard deviation about the mean will be different. Now, D. There will be more hydrogen molecules with a speed equal to the root mean squared velocity at lower temperatures. Now that one is completely true and discusses only one gas, so that helps us. If we're talking about just the hydrogen particles, not comparing them to anything, and say, let's reduce the temperature. If we reduce the temperature, that Maxwell-Boltzmann curve compresses and gets a higher peak near the root mean squared velocity. So the number of particles with a high root mean squared excuse me, the number of particles that have a root mean square velocity is larger for lower temperatures for any gas. D is completely true.